I'm gonna just go off the motherfucking dome with this one, bro. Like, these past few weeks, oh, like, this energy out here is fucking insane, bro. Like, you got these niggas crashing into each other, running off the road, running into other people and shit, bro. You got motherfuckers just dropping left and right. You got delusional ass people out here. Men and women, whatever the fuck they going through, and they not aware of their own bullshit. I see too much on my Facebook feed to not address this shit. It's too much contradiction. It's too much inconsistency. Right? And I'm sick of seeing that shit. No, yeah, you can just delete me, block me. Nah. Can't give up on you that easily. Maybe this will wake your ass up. So all the niggas on there making these posts of what niggas supposed to be doing. So confident in what you preaching. Or, my bad, not even preaching because you copy and paste somebody else shit. And then you put your little two cents in with the little speak emoji behind it. You ain't saying shit. You ain't saying shit, though. Why are you trying to take this man's quote and make it your own? You don't have a voice? You don't have a mouth? You can't fucking speak? Why do y'all do that weird shit? And be the main ones contradictory. It was one dude. Called himself buying some moss from me. Twice. Never came through. But based off of this nigga's post, he always paranoid. He always talking about gunplay and shit. And he come off so confident. Be on there dissing bitches about what they need to do, calling them big, saying, yeah, y'all need to do that and third. Whole time, this nigga didn't got bigger himself. He ain't that big, but the motherfucker put on some weight. And so for you to sit here and try to talk about anybody needing to do anything, bro, you need to check your damn self. Mr. Immobile. Mr. I Can't Drive. Whatever the fuck had you in that situation where you couldn't get no fucking ride, nigga. I don't know what the fuck that was about. But see, I don't like to be stood up, bro. I don't like that shit. When a person tells me something, we supposed to be doing business, and then you turn around and do some whole shit and get scared chicken out, and then you don't reply, you don't engage with my post, none of that weird shit. Well, I mean, it ain't weird, but it's weird that the fact that because you fucked up, you just disengage completely. Now, a lot of people be making those posts. You got to watch them motherfuckers. Them the main ones. They be doing the shit that they post, bro. They contradict them. And that shit weird as hell. And these women. I ain't even going to call them women. I'm calling y'all bitches. Until proven to be a woman, motherfucker. Because a lot of y'all immature as a bitch. Just immature. No fucking accountability. No nothing. But you'll post some shit and it'll get up. So many likes. Now all of a sudden you think you're some type of motherfucking influencer or some shit like that. Based off of somebody else's quote. And then you put your little captions underneath the shit and share it. And all of a sudden, oh yeah, blah, say blah. But we, we know you, fam. We've probably seen you out in public. Probably seen you at a store or something in action. You was unaware of it, but I saw you, motherfucker. And now you want to hop on Facebook like you just a motherfucking innocent bystander. Like you ain't doing no wrong. Ain't nobody without flaw. I ain't saying it. Everybody got their flaws, bro. Ain't no such thing as perfect down here. That's one thing that I accepted, nigga. Ain't no such thing as perfect down here. And so I don't know why people try to come off and try to be so perfect instead of just being them. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, just admit your faults. You know what I'm saying? Take accountability. Stop relying on that religion to be your fucking shield. That's the main thing. That's why a lot of y'all moving how y'all moving. Because of y'all belief system. Because you basically scared of hell, bro. When it's all said and done, you scared to die. You not realizing this is just a phase of the spirit, nigga. This is just a phase. That's all it is. It's a phase of the spirit, bro. This is a life, nigga. You see where my fingers at, nigga? That's third density life, nigga. Compared to the spirit life, I'm off the screen with it. It's infinite. 
You see what I'm saying? Y'all motherfuckers get so caught up on this worldly shit and trying to prove nothing to nobody. Just to have some type of vengeful spirit like, yeah, I'm going to stun on these niggas. Okay, go for it. There ain't no right or wrong, just consequences. Remember that. If your intent ain't pure and you ain't out here moving with pure intent, with good intentions, and you trying to be slick and sneaky, it's going to catch up with your ass every fucking time. You will see a motherfucker make a post about something, then a couple days later, or hell, a couple hours later, they'll make some shit the exact opposite. I'm not gonna go into the details. Y'all know what the fuck y'all be seeing across the feeds. No one addresses the shit. I ain't gotta put no names on the motherfucker. You know who you are. You people know who the fuck y'all is. Y'all will sit behind that goddamn keyboard and that phone all fucking day. Having all these fucking opinions. Get your ass in front of a camera and actually talk your shit so we can understand and feel your vibe, motherfucker. Because a lot of y'all shapeshift too damn frequent, too much. And it's sickening. Just a bunch of lost motherfuckers just trying to go viral. Just to get a fucking check. For what, bro? What the fuck is the point of that? Like, yeah, fam. If you being you, you know what I'm saying? Y'all motherfuckers get on here and try to act like everybody who y'all not, bro. And it is fucking baffling. You will see motherfuckers up on there that clearly got some type of motherfucking mental illness or something. They'll get to talking like they really about something. I'm like, fucks. I see what type of dudes you pick. I see the type of posts you post. Who are you to try to convince me that you got your shit anywhere together? You still got a lot of growing to do. You ain't even accept yourself yet. You still out here playing these games, playing victim. When the fuck are you going to take accountability? When? This is the craziest shit to me, bro. And it's not hard. That's the problem. It's too much overstimulation. Motherfuckers just too focused on what the fuck the vanity is on these apps they too focused and locked in on some shit that ain't even what the fuck it is when they really around that shit anybody can turn on the fucking camera and get in front of that motherfucker and make it seem like they're having a good time easily but see one thing about me and i love this about me fam this takes time to fucking master nigga because i'm still working on myself but nigga, the person you see right here is the motherfucker gonna catch out in public. The motherfucker gonna catch at work. The motherfucker gonna catch at the gym. I'm me. Now, when I walk around, I'm gonna be real with you. This is how I look. I mean, I can't help the fact that that's how my face rests. The motherfucker, you can speak. You can make eye contact. A lot of people will be in fear thinking, oh yeah, I'm thinking. That's why I try to be the bigger person. And always initiate the contact. When I catch eye contact, though, I got to catch eye contact with you. If I don't catch eye contact with you, I'm not going to go on my way to speak because that means something's going on. I get it. I ain't going to say that I'm perfect, nigga. I've been there before, too, where I didn't want to be bothered by shit. Even though, yeah, I know I got to go out here in public and do whatever the fuck. Don't bother me. I get that. But I'm coming out of that shit. But the more I come out of it, the more I see that it's a lot of people that's just not confident in themselves. Not confident, you know, and we talk a lot about men's confidence and everything like that. Yeah, some dudes out here are lacking confidence. It's a bunch of scary motherfuckers. They just want to jump and act like it's a tough guy contest. And oh, yeah, I'm going to test your gangster the whole time. They don't even know who the fuck I am. And then I open my mouth. What's going on, bro? Oh, and then they be looking stupid. Either they'll say what's up back or they just hold their head down and look away or something. It's just like, ugh, y'all motherfuckers. And these bitches, bro, they just play too many fucking games, too many mind games, and there's too much shit going on out here for you hoes to be playing anything. And it's a reflective type of thing. It's kind of like, I see you over there doing your thing. Basically, me seeing this about them thinking about me. Oh, I see you over there doing your thing or whatever, and you will see these people looking. And it's like they can't fucking take their eyes off of you. But the moment you look at them, they can't, they, they just freeze up. Like, nigga, you can speak. I'm a human being just like you. I'm down here in the flesh with you. You know what I'm saying? 
what's the issue? I don't get that. Like, why, why, why do y'all act like that? I don't get it. Y'all weird as fuck to me, man. I know I got some weirdness about myself, but how y'all go about the connection, actual fucking communication, is very fucking poor. So I don't see why the world want people to act a certain way, fam. You know, being professional and all of that shit, bro. That 2020 fucked everybody up. Motherfuckers is on edge. I just seen this video on Facebook. Motherfucker got out of a nightclub and off like four people up in Chicago. I feel, forget what club it was, but I'm like, damn, folks. Y'all niggas out here wildin' for real. Like, it's getting worse and worse, bro. But just as much bad as it is out here is just as much good. That's what I got to focus on. You know what I'm saying? But then again, it's like it's hard to do that when social media is in your face all day, every day. And it's always, for the most part, focusing on the negative shit, you know, or some shit that make you feel like you're inadequate which isn't the case you know everybody got their own realm everybody operate their own speed and time so it's like mm, it's a paradox it's kind of fucked up but it's just like you gotta understand it like it's good to take a break from a lot of this shit a lot of the times fam because it'll have you overthinking it'll have you overstimulated now you in public tweaking hard as a bitch because somebody walking past you and you can't even make eye contact. You looking all up in the way and shit. Then motherfucker get close. Now you want to mean bug him like you pissed. Like, nigga, you don't know me. <laughs> you don't know me. I don't know you, but you don't know me. You feel, you feel what I'm saying? Like, just be cool, fam. It ain't hard. The electronics got us fucked up. Got the mind fucked up, fam. I'm telling y'all. These towers, these motherfucking devices, all of this shit, fam, is really fucking with people's minds, fam. And it ain't just because they looking at the fucking screen, nigga, it's just because it's in your presence, because it's around your field, it's within six feet of you, you see what I'm saying? So y'all gotta pay attention to that, man, you know what I'm saying? Get you some motherfucking shun guy, get you some orgone, get you some black tourmaline, some obsidian. You know, get your black stones, fam. Keep the motherfuckers on you, bro, and maintain that diet. It takes time. I get that. I can respect that nigga back in motherfucking middle school, bro. I was like, damn near 300 pounds, fam. I get it. It takes time. Probably ain't gonna get there year one, but keep fucking going. Keep fucking going and make an effort to make those adjustments to help you out. So I'm just getting up on here ranting and shit, fam. I ain't really on shit today. I just want y'all to see my face. That's all. And to keep updating y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just keep motherfucking posts. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Build my confidence up even more in this uh, demonic-ass city. Because the vibes over here in Milwaukee, fam, it is fucking insane, bro. Like on some real shit. But... It's always light at the end of that motherfucking tongue, boy. I'm going to tell you that. Just keep your head up. That's all I can say. Shit. Do what you feel is best for you. What actually make you happy. Put that shit on display. Do that and keep doing that shit. You'll be fine, my nigga. Ain't no need to sit here. There was one story about some dude that was on the Elden Generous show. The DJ or whatever. He took his own life. Just like yesterday or whatever, me recording this video. And I'm just like, look, I can look at that video and dissect it in many ways. And the first thing that stood out to me was that um, for one, bro was in Hollywood around Ellen DeGeneres. You already know the story is about that bitch. Let's not even go into the deep details about how they try to get the adrenochrome and shit and all of that shit from these kids. They be fucking abducting. And sacrificing at them damn parties. Now, I don't know if he was privy to that or not. Either way, the stresses of being in that public eye of fake shit, it can get to you. You know what I'm saying? I could understand. I don't understand taking your own fucking life, but I understand, like, yeah, the pressures of the fucking world. If I got to deal with this shit locally every day, you know what I'm saying? Just doing everyday tasks, taking care of fucking 
bills and looking up different credit lines and establishing different fucking um different allegiances with different people we're trying to you know what i'm saying network basically that shit it can get frustrating but that's why you gotta take a step back and look out for you now his wife was a white woman and i'm just looking like folks for one i ain't got no issue with interracial couples at all but like fam do y'all even relate or was she there for the clout like what was bro going through mentally and he couldn't talk to nobody he just to play it off and just dance and shit like bro that is the most insane shit you gotta watch it you gotta watch it that holly weird shit stay the fuck away from it because you see what that can get you you see what that can get you not only that but you can see where the fuck you know just anything that you put too much effort into like chasing a bag like bro you gotta give a fuck more about your health than you do that money folks i'm telling you nigga if you need to take a year off bro do that shit obviously have your money and shit in order but fam your mental that's key fellas it don't, it don't get no better than that it don't get no more self-care than mental health that's one thing i know for sure and a lot of people just walking around here on autopilot autopilot they don't have no good sleep patterns poor diet every day same routine same motherfucking you know, and it's just, it, it gets old real fast. And then you got to deal with the other intricacies of jobs too. Like, you know, you got the people that's cool. And then you got those few haters that always make your job harder for whatever fucking reason. It don't matter where you at. They always making the shit harder. They always got some type of extra shit to try to go out their way to fuck with you and do some cowardly shit. And that's how most people move in this world today, on or off the clock. It don't matter. That's just how they move. It's the demonic spirit. They see your light. They know what the fuck you possess. They mad that you possess it. They trying to take it. Don't let them take that shit. Y'all take care, though. Entertainment is how we paint it. Out here shucking.